But just before we start, um, I thought I, I just highlight again what's expected from this particular uh, a practical. It's not I, it's not a long one. I I don't think it's gonna take the whole uh, morning. It's very really short. But as I said before, short and to the point. Uh, just give me the things that are required. Okay, so. Uh, we've covered in the theory the, the um, four-stroke petrol engine, two-stroke petrol engine, the, and the four-stroke diesel engine. Those, those are the three main engines that we covered already. And that uh, coverage which, uh, should now uh, give you a very good idea of the practical this morning. Uh, so, Okay, procedures. So the, the important part in the, in the practical manual is, is the procedures. Okay. It, it's in there. Procedures number one. Take photos to identify the following engine components not attached to the engine. Uh, so I'm expecting just a photo identified. Photo identified. Cylinder so block. Uh, yeah, well, we'll go out there and we'll point out to you what, where these things are. Piston and its connecting rod. Piston is normally connected to the connecting rod together. Crankshaft. Crankshaft is the one that, uh, where the piston is attached, that, that uh, is uh, rotated by the piston. The flywheel, spark plug. Cam shaft is the one that opens and closes the valves. Yeah, and the valves themselves. Huh? So that you need to identify. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven items here. Then procedure number two. Take photos of the machine with the following components attached and clearly labeled. Now, this is the machine when you get that is open, you can see the parts, but they are attached. Uh, so you take a photo, one or two of the machine, of the machine. Uh, well, I, I say one or two because uh, maybe if you take it from one side, you won't be able to see the other side. So you take this side and the other side. And use some arrows to... Uh, now the problem with arrows I've uh, encountered in the past is that when you, uh, you know, when you, when you use those um, uh, shapes, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, insert shapes. Um, usually I use those. But sometimes when you upload your report, the, the arrows are all over the place. Uh, so, I don't know, uh, maybe you need to use a different way of identifying. But I found uh, that uh, the problem with uh, where you, these are the arrows where you, uh, you insert uh, a shape, then you go in and you pick an arrow, <coughs> and then you, uh, you, you shape the type of uh, arrowhead and the length and the width and the color. You know what I'm talking about now, which is nice. But uh, when you upload it in, uh, into the internet, and I download it. Sometimes the arrow uh, moves around. Because uh, the arrow is not limited to the, uh, to the, you know, the word uh, document. Um, so be careful of that. Uh, it's probably better to uh, uh, just, I don't know. Uh, well, find some way. Take a photo of the machine, the following components the test, you clearly label cylinder, spark plug. So some of these already covered, but they were in uh, individual parts. Uh, now they are stuck together. <coughs> Fuel tank, oil tank, air cleaner, carburetor. So this one, <coughs> let me just add that uh, question number one about those different parts. 
Those who refer to the four stroke petulant, because we have one we took apart. Ah. The second question also refers to four stroke petulant. So this one, uh, cylinder, spark plug, fuel tank, oil tank, so they will have separate. Do you remember the uh, two stroke have just one tank now? The two stroke engine has one tank where you add, uh, where uh, the oil and uh, fuel uh, to get better. Uh, they mix it outside and then pour it inside. Air cleaner, carburetor. And then uh, B, where is the air, this is uh, for you to answer. Where is the air cleaner output attached to? Uh, we covered this in the lectures. If you don't know, still you can't remember, look in the internet. Explain why. Huh? Where is the air cleaner output attached to? So it could be just one answer. Explain why. Why is it attached to? Explain the use of the choke. I have purposely left that there. Go and find some, uh, find out, do a little bit of research, find out what is the use of the joke. Okay? So that's the four stroke petrol engine. And then the B component. Because here yeah, I all like And uh, the B uh, part of the procedure is uh, move to the four-stroke diesel engine. That's the engine at the back there. We'll, we'll move down there in a while, in a short while. Take a photo or photos of the engine and identify four of these main differences that can be see, clearly seen in the photos. <coughs> now, um, I think you'll find uh, very, uh, that's not a very, uh, it's not easy to see the, the differences. For example, uh, difference in the fuel. Uh, you won't be able to uh, identify that in the photos. It would be easy to identify, uh, for example, one of the main things is the, the uh, fuel injector. This all has the fuel injector, it doesn't have the spark plug, so that's one. Um, yeah. Think of another one. Okay. Take photos to identify the fuel supply system, the fuel tank, fuel filter, fuel lines, fuel pumps, fuel injectors. Write a short paragraph to explain what is meant by the term leading a diesel engine. We discussed this yesterday, so you should remember, find out more information if you can't. Don't, if this is, is enough. Remove the air cleaner to answer the following. What type of air cleaner is it? Which part of the engine is it attached to? That, that is for you to uh, think about the letter we had yesterday. Why is it attached to it? So as I say, uh, these are for you to answer, you know, one sentence or two sentences. And then take a photo of the fuel injector, the valves, the piston, the cylinder. So that's the, uh, This is two-stroke petrol engine. Take a photo of the engine and they put the follow. We have a machine down there which we'll bring over there. So th this one is just take a photo and identify the parts by looking at the machine. Cylinder, spark plug, fuel tank, carburetor, air cleaner, engine speed control, choke. All of these things you can see from the outside. Where is the air cleaner output attached to? Again, that's for you to think about and explain why. Uh, short, one sentence, answer one, 
second sentence as a yellow one. What is the most obvious evidence confirmed that this is a two stroke petrol engine? Ah. If we know we will have two tanks, one is the oil tank, which is down here. This is the petrol tank. Anyway, uh, the cylinder block really is the um, is this part here. Yeah. It's this part. We used to have a cylinder block. Just just identify it on this arm. Uh, cylinder block. But I um, Piston and connecting rod. This is a connecting rod. This is the piston. Crankshaft. This is the crankshaft. Now, you notice that the crankshaft looks very much like the, crank, the camshaft. Uh, many people uh, uh, mistake uh, the two. The, the, the main difference is the crankshaft has this, uh, its offset. Uh, it's not straight from here all the way down. It's uh, it, there is an offset here at this part, whereas the camshaft is a straight thing. These are the two knobs for opening and closing the valves, and this is where the piston is uh, connected. Uh, the flywheel, this is the flywheel. This is the one that connects to the to here, so that it can turn like. Uh, <coughs> This one here, this is the flywheel. Camshaft, this one. Inlet and exhaust valves, these two here. Because they, uh, this one and this one, uh, these are the valves, they go up and down, open, go, it goes up, push up by the camshaft, and close, pull down by the springs. Okay. Uh, the, for the cylinder block, just make up, identify this part. You can, in fact, just take one photo and uh, identify each one on a single photo. Ah, you don't have to take separate photos, just take one. The main thing is that you can identify this part. Okay, and then you take, uh, take a photo or photos uh, of, the, of, of these things attached, uh, cylinder, so somehow you need to, uh, the cylinder, is, you can normally tell by the, it has these uh, fins, this metal of fins attached to the cylinder, here, so this is the cylinder here, if you look up from the top, this is the cylinder, and this is the side of the cylinder, here, this small one, now the, these fins, the top of the fins is to take the heat from the, because once combustion occurs inside the cylinder on the top of the piston, uh, the, the, this will be very hot, so the heat is moved by, uh, by what? What's the process? Heat. Conduction. Ah, when heat moves from one part of a metal to another part, it's through con conduction. When it moves through the air, it's through, it's, it's called what? Convection. Ah, anyway, the heat moves from the top of the piston through the metal, uh, through the, the metal part of the wall of the cylinder, and then comes out through these fins, the heat, and uh, you can see that the surface area is, is uh, enlarged so that air can go through and take the heat away. In this case, this is this uh, flywheel acts as a it acts as a as a fan. It blows air onto these fins and takes the heat away. So this is what's called a uh, which is this engine here. This is called an, an, an air-cooled engine. We use air to cool the engine. Cooling an engine is absolutely important because if you don't cool down the engine, remove the heat, you, uh, you destroy the machine because of the buildup of, of uh, heat inside. So two ways of uh, removing the heat 
One is using air, like this one, and the other one is using water, like your car. Um, it has a screw down by water. Anyway, cylinder, spark plug. Yeah, so this one this is the spark plug. Uh, fuel tank, this one. This is where you open it up. Put in the, the water. You can, in fact, take this one as well to help you identify. You see, this is the this is the oil tank. This is the uh, crankcase. Remember, this is the crankcase. This is this is the crankshaft. Mm -hmm. And below the crankshaft is where the uh, the crankcase is located. And as I said, if, in fact, this is the oil tank. This is the uh, you open the oil tank using this one here and that one there. So when the piston goes up, the oil moves up as well. When the piston goes down, it moves down as well, which is why the oil ring. Ah, talk about the oil ring. So this is the oil tank. This is the oil tank down here. Ah, this is full of oil when the engine is running. Ah, and this is the, the petrol tank. Um, because it mentions there the oil tank. Air cleaner, this is the air cleaner. You've taken off the air cleaner from, from uh, here, but this is the air cleaner. The air goes inside, there's a filter inside here, filters the air, and then the air is sucked into the, the engine, uh, to the carburetor. This is the carburetor. This, all these things starting from here to here is the carburetor. You know it's a carburetor because the air is connected to the carburetor. The petrol is also connected to the carburetor. The carburetor mixes them together in the right proportion. And you use the, uh, this one, well, you can see here the, uh, these are screws here and here. These are used to tune the engine, increase the air, increase the fuel, to get the balance. Ah, tuning. So these are tuning screws to uh, either increase or one thing and increase the other thing. So in the carburetor, carburetor here. So uh, <coughs> petrol comes from uh, the tank. To the carburetor, air goes from the air cleaner into the carburetor, mixed together, and then during the intake induction stroke, the piston uh, moves down, the, the intake valve opens, and the mixture goes inside. Ah. This is the exhaust valve. The reason I know that is because it's attached to the muffler. This is the muffler. This is where the smoke comes from. And you can see it's attached directly to the exhaust valve. So during the exhaust stroke, piston goes up. This is the fourth stroke, piston goes up. The exhaust valve opens and pushes air out to the, uh, what you call it? The muffler. Ah, but the carburetor is uh, required here to be identified. So you need to point it out. This is the choke. Anybody know what the choke is? Huh? Explain the use of the choke. Huh? When you uh, pull it out, you open you open uh, the air. Uh, you increase more air to go in. When you uh, oh, slow, uh sorry, it's, it's the other way around. When you uh, when you when you pull it, you uh, you close the air. You make the, the space smaller. When you push it in, you make the space uh, thicker. More air goes in. When you pull it out, less air goes into the carburetor. And the reason for that is um, it's a control. You pull it out. You decrease the space of air 
less air, more petrol. When you push it in the normal position, now it has a balance uh, of air and a petrol. And the reason for that for this is when the machine is sitting around for a long time, uh, it's it's, uh, it's very hard to start. Uh. So in order you do that for the thrust cutter. So for, for you for in order to uh, give every opportunity to the machine to start, you decrease the amount of uh, air and you increase the petrol so that it will make it easier to start. Ah, more petrol, less air, hopefully it will uh, cause it to start uh, more quickly. So, and then once it's running, then you push it back in and it's going into normal. So that's the use of the choke. Again, the use of the choke is to, uh, when you operate it, you decrease the amount of air into the carburetor, you increase and therefore increase petrol so that the engine can start uh, better, more efficiently. Yeah? So I just uh, answer that question for you. Um, where is the air cleaner output attached to? Huh? Where is the air cleaner output? This is the, out this is the air cleaner. Its output is attached down there to where? This is, the, this is the air cleaner attached to where? Carburetor. The air cleaner is the air cleaner at outlet is attached to the or the air cleaner is attached to the carburetor. The petrol tank is attached to the carburetor. The choke is part of the carburetor. And the carburetor is attached to the inlet or intake valve. The exhaust valve is attached to the muffler. Yeah? That's uh, procedure number two. So that's the... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this is the cylinder. You can see the piston. See the piston going up, going down. This is the flywheel. And you can see it's a very big cylinder, ah, because it's a diesel engine. So, it, although it's a small engine, it's very strong, ah. So there's a high compression ratio. So, uh, that's the piston coming out and going back in. It's attached to the crankshaft, just like the other engine, and attached to the flywheel. Uh, <coughs> <clears throat> this is a diesel tank. Okay, so what's required? Study this engine carefully. Note the main differences between this engine and the four-stroke petrol engine. Take a photo to identify this. Now, uh, that's an unfair question because you can't identify, the, for example, the main differences is the, the diesel, uh, the different fuel. But you can't you can't see any different fuel here. Um, the only two that uh, can be clearly seen is that this is a very uh, heavy equipment. So and it's also um, the cylinder is big and it's strong, high compression. <coughs> so it must be a diesel engine, huh? because uh, for the petrol engine it will be smaller, smaller cylinder less uh, less strong the other difference you can see is in the petrol engine like the one we just saw um, on top of the cylinder there's a spark plug ah, for this one there's no spark plug but you can see here this is a fuel injector here the two valves the uh, exhaust and uh, the inlet valves and um, this is the exhaust valve how do you know this is the exhaust valve huh? yeah. 
connect to the exhaust. That's true. This is the exhaust. This is the ex the muffler. Ah, yeah. This is a no. This is the exhaust. This is the exhaust. You are wrong. This is where the muffler is connected. This is where the smoke goes out. This is where the air. This is the in the intake. This is the intake stroke. This is where the air goes in. Remember, during the induction stroke, only air goes inside. So in a diesel engine, the air. So that's another difference. Ah, you can see this is the air cleaner. This is an oil bath air cleaner. So there's oil at the bottom. Air comes from, uh, you know, when this is working in the field. Air goes inside, and then any any of the big big rubbish like leaves and uh, the big ones ah uh, are cleared from here. They can't enter uh, because they are big too big. So the big rubbish is first of all uh, <coughs> get rid of it from here. The smaller rubbish can go in, and and they go in uh, through this part outside. And uh, at the bottom here is oil. Uh, so the, the um, air goes into the oil, mix the oil, and then come come up, come up through the filter. So this is filtered again. So in fact, uh, this one is one, two, three mm. filter. The air is filtered three times. Uh, so that any small amount of dust is uh, not allowed to get in, and then uh, this is connected to the to this uh, inlet uh, pipe, and it's connected directly to the intake uh, valve. So induction stream piston goes down, the the intake valve opens, air goes inside. The power stroke is the third one, and that's when the, uh, the fuel ejector, this part, sprays, sprays the, the diesel uh, through here into the hot air, causing combustion. And that's why they, this is called compression ignition engine because there's no spark plug. Any questions? One uh, difference is the fuel injector instead of the spark plug. The size of the cylinder and the heavy metal constructing this. And uh, I, I, the third, a third one is the fact that the exhaust, uh, I mean, uh, air cleaner is attached directly to the intake valve. Three, uh, yeah. There's a problem with uh, the valve because of the uh, air cleaner. Which valve? Inside here. You need to change the. Oh, yeah. Uh, you need to service this every so yeah. often. Change the oil. Uh, but uh, you, you, you need to clean this. Either clean it or change the, the filter. I mean, uh, you you need to follow the recommendations in the, in the manual, ah, because in the manual it says every certain number of hours you need to uh, check the filter, change the oil, do the maintenance stuff. Thing. Ah. this one, uh, this here is the pump. Diesel, diesel. It's a fuel tank, fuel filter, it's a fuel filter, uh, fuel lines, so from here, goes down here, and then goes into the pump, and then the pump pumps the, uh, the, the uh, diesel and comes out of the <coughs> fuel injector. Ah. 
into the cylinder. So <coughs> for this one, uh, this is the uh, most important pump. This is the fuel pump. It's uh, important that uh, no air is allowed to get into the hose between the tank and any of these parts. So, uh, fossil diesel, fuel tank, fuel filter, fuel lines, fuel pump is this one, and fuel injector is this one. Write a short paragraph to explain bleeding. We already covered that in class. So, do that again. Remember, very short, one or two sentences. Uh, what is bleeding a diesel fuel engine? Removing gas bubbles from the fuel line. Finish. Uh, but don't write a whole essay on it. <laughs> <coughs> okay, remove the air cleaner. This is a, what type of air cleaner we just did there? This is uh, an, an air bath air cleaner. Oh, sorry, an oil bath air cleaner. There's a there's an illustration of this in your course notes. In your course notes, there's a which part of the engine is it attached to? Which is this attached to? Inlet valve. Inlet valve. Because in the induction stroke, only air goes inside. Ah, so it must be attached to the inlet valve. As soon as the piston goes down in okay, so that's the uh, diesel engine. Any questions? Okay, two stroke. One. Take a photo of this engine and label the photo of the cylinder. One, but the service, but this one will do quite, quite fine. Um, this is also a two stroke engine. All uh, chainsaws are two stroke engines. The main uh, thing about two-stroke engines is that uh, uh, yeah. is that uh, the oil for lubricating the oil for lubrication are mixed together with the with the uh, petrol. Now, for the diesel engine, it will ha it has its own uh, oil tank, although it is not. Uh, Seen there, it will have its own oil tank, separate oil tank, separate, separate uh, fuel tank. Same with this one. This uh, four stroke petrol engine you saw, it's a separate oil tank, separate fuel tank. But in this machine, the same, this, this uh, fuel tank, which runs on petrol, We'll also uh, mix together with the oil. You, what you do is you mix the oil. This is the two cycle motor oil for the, this is the oil for the two stroke engine. You have to be, make sure this is two cycle uh, or two stroke. You can't use, uh, see this is, uh, this is the engine oil. This is the oil for the four strokes. It's got these numbers. SAE 10 W to 40. The thicker the number, the thicker the oil. The hotter the country, the, the, the thicker the oil you need for Samoa and the Pacific, where it's very hot, you need to use SAE 30 at least, or SAE 40. When you have a 10 W, it means a thin oil. 10 W, uh, W usually means winter, 10 winter. So in countries like um, New Zealand where it's very cold, you would be using uh, this kind of oil, S -E -A -E 10 w But this is what's called a multi-grade oil, <coughs> meaning that it can be used for both uh, cold countries and hot countries, so you don't have to change the oil. Otherwise, if when it's hot, you need to change to a thicker oil. When it's uh, when it's cold, you need to change uh, change to a thinner oil. SAE stands for uh, uh, um, Automotive Engineering Society of Automotive Engineering. 
they are the ones who set the standards for across the world for the type of oil, full for the Pacific. But usually it will be more expensive because they have to uh, do uh, add stuff in order to make it a special oil. But I, I normally use the oil that's in, uh, in the supermarkets in town. It's got SAE 40 written on it. So you can use that one. Anyway, for two stroke engines, you use two cycle. And that is mixed into the, we will do that in, uh, similar to this one. But you need to identify the, the cylinder. <coughs> No, the fins, remember the, maybe you can, here, like this, this is the cylinder, the fins for getting the heat out of the cylinder, uh, so that's the cylinder there, spark plug, uh, normally on top of the, it's, it's on top of the cylinder, so it should be somewhere, here, can you find the, uh, oh here, sorry. Yeah. Okay, so this is the cylinder. This one uh, has the cylinder head on the, at the bottom. Ah. So you can see it. You can turn it around. The fuel tank, carburetor, well, the choke is somewhere around here. Mm. See this one. This one is stuck. It goes up and down, but uh, this is the carburetor because this uh, the air cleaner is here somewhere and then it's mixed together with the petrol. Petrol comes down into the carburetor, air goes in here, mix goes inside the cylinder. So, this is the carburetor. Air cleaner. Well, it used to be stuck here uh, on this side, but uh, you need to uh, this, this the the air cleaner for this one. I think was used to be here, but it's taken away. Okay. And uh, attached to the carburetor. This would be the choke. This part. It's a little bit clearer on the other machine, but they've taken it to be. Uh, it has the four stroke petrol, both the air and, uh, and the petrol are uh, mixed in the carburetor before they are uh, taken in. What is the most obvious uh, evidence confirmed that this is a two stroke petrol engine? <laughs> Many people put down uh, it has a spark plug. But so does the four stroke petrol. It also has a spark plug. What's the most obvious uh, evidence that this is a two stroke? What? What? Only what? What? It has one cylinder. It has one cylinder. One cylinder. Fuel uh, is mixed with a two stroke. Fuel is mixed with a two stroke. Huh? Uh, fuel is mixed with a. Fuel is mixed with the with the oil. Yeah. This is the only engine where oil is mixed together with. Oil. The, the diesel has an oil separate oil tank. That one has an oil tank. <coughs> this one doesn't, because the oil is mixed together with. Oil. And when the petrol goes in to be burned, into the cylinder, it lubricates uh, the cylinder, lubricates the crankcase member because it goes in the bottom first, and then uh, goes through the transfer port, fuel. then uh, it lubricates and then gets burnt. But then as it's burnt, more oil, more oil fuel comes comes up to uh, lubricate. So the oil tank. And the, uh, but it has only one one fuel tank where oil and uh, petrol are mixed. It must be a two-stroke engine. Now there is a there is a 
there is a, a misconception with uh, this one. Ah, this one, the chainsaw, does have a separate oil tank. But that oil tank is not for the engine. That is for the chain ah, outside. That oil doesn't go inside the engine. It stays outside. So the, the chainsaw is a two-stone engine. It has a separate oil tank, but not for the engine. It is for the, for the chain, to lubricate the chain. <coughs> Any questions?